Um, this is something I want to talk about is because, um, as you know, a lot of our athletes don't have this on their resume. Uh, academics, um, very intelligent um, guy, student athlete. Uh, kind of give us a brief on your preparation ap uh, academically, how you took that serious enough as a student athlete. Uh, well, academics was was number one. I mean, my father had a rule that said if you don't get your grades, you know, you're not going to play any sport. And when I meant grades, he wasn't talking about C's. You know, he wanted me to excel A and B's, and I played. I was on the on the A A B honor roll all my life. Uh, National Honor Society student, um, uh, graduated top 15 in the, in our class, and um, you know I made sure I had my grades. I mean college prep courses. Um, I applied to maybe 30 schools in the nation, got rejected by one, and that was Princeton because my wow. SAT score wasn't high enough. I needed a 1200. I think the highest I got was like the 1150 mm -hmm. on my SAT. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, but you're talking Princeton. Yeah, exactly. You know? exactly. <laughs> you're talking Princeton, but exactly. uh, that, that's that, that's how it actually fell out. But yeah. you know, education, you know, yeah. it, it, it gets you to where you have to be. Because I wasn't going to be a pro athlete, you know, but uh, you know, the education actually helped me along a lot. I shook my head and and um, being proud, cause I'm looking like 1150, like. You know, you were disappointed having 1150, and that, right. that, that just shows right. how serious you were about your academics. Exactly. Well, I dream of having 1150, man. <laughs> this, um, so, what did, did you receive any tension? Because this is let's keep it real. Did you receive any tension from your teammates who didn't have their grades, and you know, you getting all Princeton, and everybody's coming after Northwestern. These schools want you academically and athletically. Was there a tension among? Among that were the athletes who didn't have the grades. No, I, actually, I mean, not not really, because I was just one of the guys. I mean, it, it wasn't like I stuck out, you know, being okay with Strides is brainiac and you know, he doesn't get along with everybody. Because I hung out with everybody, you know. Um, some of my best my my best friends. We we all grew up in the same neighborhood, so it wasn't like you know, just because I was smart, they treated me different. They treated me just like any regular guy. I mean, so, it, and I, I treated them the same way, so it was never any tension like that. Actually, it was more, it was more, they were more proud to say, you know, yeah, my boy, you know, you know, he's he's great academically, and some schools may be looking at him and stuff like that. So, you know, that, that was great. I mean, back when I was growing up, you know, every guy pulled for each other, you know. Nowadays, you may have some guys that are just looking out for themselves, but, you know, back in, back in the day, you know, we always wanted to see, you know, the next guy do better. I mean, if you were... If you're going to D3, D2, I mean, D1, whatever, you know, we want to see you do, do great. So um, I've never had any tension as far as that's concerned.